it's Emily Ullman from Hopscotch Interactive, and today is one of those days that you hope never happens, but it does happen sometimes, uh, which is that I have decided that it is actually a good idea for me to send in my Ricoh Theta Z1 for a repair. Now, the camera was out in the field, must have got into something we're not sure, we don't know how it happened, uh, but there is a small nick on the front of, well, on the back side, so the side where the digital display is, which is sort of the back side of the lens of um, my Ricoh Theta Z1. I bought the camera in October 2020, so it's probably still under warranty, but if this was something that we caused, I'm guessing that it's not going to be something that um, the guys over at Ricoh Theta are going to be excited about paying for, but what I'm doing is I'm sending in the camera for an estimate for a repair. So what I did is I located my receipt, I printed it out, I put a note on there that says, here's my Z1, here's the receipt, and um, you know, call me or email me and let me know what the estimate is going to be. Um, and the reason why I did that is because the estimate or the, the price if you prepay for your lens repair, which means a full replacement of your lens, um, that is going to be $420. So it's $375 um, and then $20 um, additional. Uh, so basically the way that they added up on their website is it's a $420 charge for you to send it in and get it back. So that seemed to me like kind of a lot of money for what I think is a very minor and superficial scratch, but my local camera company, they won't buff out the lens for me. And I don't really want to get into trying to do that myself since this is precision optics. Um, and 360, which means whatever damage you create yourself, it's going to show up. We can't really mask that so easily. So, um, so what I did is I printed out my receipt. Um, here's the paperwork. Uh, that, you know, is sort of the confirmation of my order. When I ordered it, it was back ordered. So I have that there. And then a little note and my business card. So I'm just sticking that in the envelope. Um, and then I packaged up my Z1 in here. I did a serious packing job. Um, I just reused a box because how many boxes do you get every week? And so it's in here. Fully, completely you know, apocalypse proof in all of this bubble wrap. Um, and so the camera is going away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens um, when we send this out for shipping and um, see what they say when they get back to us with the estimate for our repair. Now I am gonna send this UPS, so it should be back to me, um, you know, or at least it should be to them and, uh, you know, I'll have a tracking number so I'll know that it arrives there within the next few days. And then from there, let's see how long it takes for me to get my camera repaired, or at least to get an estimate, um, and to see what happens. Now, Rico does not do the repairs themselves. If you are shipping, I believe, from anywhere, the option on the website is for you to send it to a place called Precision Camera Repair. And uh, that is a place, you know, it's a website, precisioncamera.com, and you fill in your make and model, and then you get this estimate for repairs. So let's see what happens. 